Welcome to our day one practice. Let us begin today by finding a comfortable seated position at the center of your mat, feeling yourself balanced and grounded as we take a deep breath in and reach both of our arms up to the sky. Starting our practice with this beautiful welcoming breath in and as you exhale, bring your hands down together towards your heart, feeling the energy between your hands. Close your eyes and let's go inward for a moment. Before we begin to move, breathe, and flow, let us connect to today's intention, the intention of rooting ourselves in the idea of creating a strong foundation, not just for the seven-day journey or your personal yoga practice, but through awareness, opening ourselves up to the idea that once we begin to build a strong daily foundation in our life, we give ourselves the opportunity to ascend upward from that point forward. The first step in setting up a strong foundation in our practice and in our life begins with coming to terms with the realization that where you are right now, in your practice, in your life circumstance, and in this moment is exactly where you need to be. So whether you're in a good place in your life or in a place where you seek improvement, let's, for this moment right now, find true peace with wherever you are in your personal journey. Don't fight it or resist it but simply with a deep breath, completely and wholeheartedly accept yourself as you are. So breathe in and exhale out. For the next seven days of this journey, each day we will be focusing on a different chakra in our body. A chakra is an energetic center that is responsible for the free flowing movement of our pranic energy and life force throughout our entire being. When a chakra is balanced and vibrant, we thrive. And when there are blockages, we experience their energetic restrictions in our life. There are seven chakras and each is stacked in a perfect divine ladder along the column of our own spines. And each day we will ascend up this energetic ladder from the bottom to the top in order to balance and recharge each one in order that they are located. Today we'll begin with the first one, the root chakra which is located at the base of our spine and is responsible for your sense of safety and security on this journey on Earth. It consists of everything that grounds us to stability in our life. By working on opening and balancing our root chakra, we give ourselves the opportunity to feel more connected to ourselves, to our mind and body, and to the Earth. So let's take this moment again and just connect to our breath. And let it go. Mother Earth is our first mother. Our body is formed from her elements. She creates the ultimate foundation for our existence on this planet. So let's take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, feel yourself become grounded and held by Mother Earth in a place of presence, stillness, and perfection. And with this feeling in your heart, let's repeat today's affirmation to open up our practice. Repeating softly after me, I am exactly where I'm supposed to be. Wonderful. Now when you're ready, release the hands onto the knees and begin to welcome movement into the body by bringing the chest forward towards the knees and back and around. Creating this circular motion with your upper body with as much or as little movement as you like. Just feel the energy. Feel yourself grounded. Feel yourself awake in the body. And then just reverse the motion, reverse to the other side. Really focusing on connecting to your breath, to your mind, to your present awareness. Good. Feel free to keep your eyes closed here if you like. Just really feeling this movement inside the body. And then slowly coming back to center, dropping those shoulders away from the ears. Go ahead and open the palms of your hands, facing up towards the sky. Close your eyes. Just take the second to once again come into that grounding sensation on your mat. Notice the earth underneath your mat. Feel yourself supported and held by Mother Earth. As you take a deep inhalation into your belly, into the ribs, into the chest. And a slow exhalation out, opening your eyes, 
And then from here, just go ahead and move yourself so you're along the length of your mat. Continuing to sit in your cross-legged position, place your hands at the front of your mat. Begin to bend your elbows as you dive your forehead down. And then press into the fingertips as you extend the elbows and look up to the sky. Lower down with nice fluidity, flow, and connection. And look up. Make this as fluid as you like, really focusing on touching your forehead to the mat and then lifting your head up to the sky. One more time and then this time just allow your forehead to rest on your mat. Your fingertips are grounded, your elbows are pointed up to the sky. Feel this opening in your upper back, in your chest. And then slowly roll yourself up to seated. Release the hands, release the feet. Palms of your hands flat on the mat behind you. Ground your feet onto the mat as well, hip width apart. From here, you're gonna squeeze your glutes and lift the hips up to the sky as you throw your head back, squeezing your body here. And then as you exhale, release yourself back to your seated, reaching your arms up to the sky. And then exhale, lowering the hands back down. Repeating this again, press into the feet, lift the hips, squeeze the glutes, drop your head back. Release the hips, sit back down, reach the arms up, and lower down. And again, lift up, squeeze and hold. Lower down, reach both arms up to the sky, and drop them down. And again, press, squeeze, lift, look back. Lower down, sit up nice and tall, arms up, inhale. Exhale, hands at your heart, and then from here, crossing your feet in front of you, transitioning ourselves over towards our hands and knees, and then walking back towards the back of your mat into your child's pose. So sit right on over to your heels. Your knees can be together or slightly apart. Rest your forehead back onto the earth. Allow your hands to stay grounded on the mat as well. Just feeling this opening in your back. This is a moment for you to again close your eyes and just come inward. And then from here, adding just a little bit of movement into the shoulders by reaching your arm back away from you and around for one. Coming back to child's pose, switching to the other arm, reaching your arm behind and around back to child's pose. And again, starting with the left, reach back and around. Feel that stretch in the joints. And again to the right building a foundation for strength and mobility in the shoulders. Now reach your left arm behind you, bring your right fingers to the left side of the mat, and then reach your left fingers to the right side of the mat so your arms are crossed in front of you, and then just relax into this posture. This is a very gentle way to release any tension out of your shoulders, out of your upper back. You can look forward or you can keep your head down. And then reverse, same thing. Right hand to the left side, left fingertips to the right. So just the bottom arm is now at the top. Again, just breathing into it, letting go of any tension, any resistance along the shoulder girdle. Beautiful, inhale. And exhale, take your arms behind your back, interlace the fingers, sit up nice and tall as you extend through the elbows, open up that heart center, open the chest, and then dive yourself back to child's pose with your fingertips reaching to the sky. Let's follow this movement with your breath. Inhale, come on up. Open up through the chest. And then dive the heart back down, arms reaching up to the sky. Feeling that opening and that stretch in the shoulders as your forehead stays connected to the earth. Beautiful, another inhale. Exhale, slowly come back up to seated. Look up, open up, and then reach both arms up to the sky and place your hands at your heart. Slowly transitioning over to our hands and knees, tucking your toes under. And we're going to begin by lifting up into our downward facing dog. Now it's our very first downward dog, so let's take some time here. Feel free to add as much movement as you need into your body. Feel free to keep your knees bent if you're feeling extra tight in the hamstrings. Maybe walk out your downward dog on one spot, giving yourself whatever you need in this moment to just let go of that tension and stiffness and give yourself the ability to express this posture in its most ultimate state. 
From here, lift the heels, bend your knees, dropping your knees towards the floor, and then extending the legs, seeing how low you can bring the heels down. So that's it, just a little movement. Extend and press. Lift the heels, bend the knees, extend the knees, press the heels. Awesome, let's do that one more time. Lift the heels, bend the knees, extend the knees, press the heels down. Open up through that heart center. Spread those fingers nice and wide. Press the palms of your hands into the mat. And then slowly transitioning yourself into your high plank position, shoulders above your wrist. Drop the knees, drop the elbows to your chest and then your chin. Sliding yourself forward, release the toes as you open into your cobra or baby upward dog. And then pressing into the hands, lift up to your knees. And then sit back to your heels as your toes tuck under and then pressing your way up into your downward facing dog. So this is our very first modified portion of a sun salutation. Just building that foundation for us to start to build upon. Now lift the heels and begin to walk your feet towards the very front of your mat. Take about four to six steps. Make your way all the way to the front of your mat, feet together. And then from here, go ahead and slightly bend your knees so you're folding from your hips. And begin to sway side to side, reaching for the opposite elbows, adding as much movement into the body as you like, allowing the head to feel super heavy here. Let go of your body. And then inhale, slowly come up halfway, pressing your weight into your fingertips. You're gonna lift the heels off the mat and then bend your knees until your glutes touch your heels. Extend your knees, drop the heels back down. So that's it. So it's a heel lift, Connect it with a bend and straighten of the knees. Lift, bend, come down, extend, and lower. So building some strength into the ankle joints, stretching out our feet, awakening the quads, releasing into your forward fold at this time once you're done. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Just holding here for a moment. You're more than welcome to close your eyes if you need to. Bend your knees and then begin to roll yourself up to standing nice and slow. Once you're up, go ahead and reach both arms up to the sky. And then exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Just coming into our mountain pose. Inhaling again, reaching both arms up to the sky. And then exhale, diving forward into your forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lengthen. And then exhale, just step your right leg all the way back, drop the knees to the floor into your low lunge. And then step back into your high plank position as you retain the breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, press into the hands, lift the hips, and release into your downward facing dog. So now that same foot that stepped back is going to step forward. Right foot steps forward, drop your left knee to the mat. Low lunge. And then on your exhalation, step both feet to the front of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, slowly come up as you reach both arms up to the sky. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart, Samastiti. Doing that again, Surya Namaskar A, reaching both arms up to the sky. Exhale, dive all the way down into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, this time your left foot steps to the very back of your mat. Drop your left knee to the ground. Just hold for a moment. And then inhale, you're gonna step back into your plank position, retaining your breath just for a moment. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog as you open that heart center up to the sky. Exhale, push the hips back and release into your downward facing dog. That same foot, left foot, now is going to step forward between your two hands. And then you're gonna drop your right knee towards the back of your mat. So go ahead, step forward, drop it down, look up, exhale, release into your forward fold, inhale, reaching up to the sky, both arms up, growing nice and tall, exhale, hands at your heart, Samastiti, inhale, reach both arms up again, exhale, dive towards the mat, towards Mother Earth, inhale, halfway lengthen through the spine. Exhale at this time, go ahead and step your left leg towards the back of your mat. Holding that center, keep that back knee off the mat if you can, or drop it down if that's easier. 
then reaching your right arm up to the sky as your left hand stays grounded. Stay here, or you can take it one step further by bending that back knee at this time and reaching for the toes or the heel, pulling the back heel towards your right glute muscle, feeling that opening and that stretch through the quadricep, through that top front body. Beautiful. Once you're ready, let go of your foot, reach your arm back up to the sky, see if you can lift your back knee off the mat, holding for a moment, and then releasing your hand back down, stepping back into your plank position, taking your chaturanga. Inhale upward, facing dog, and then exhale, releasing into your downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, stepping your left foot now to the front of your mat. Your back knee can stay lifted or grounded on the mat. And then from here, your right hand is on the mat as you reach your left arm up to the sky. Nice, gentle twist here. Staying here or taking it one step further by reaching for the back toes and pulling the heel towards your glute. Everybody's going to be at a different foundational level here today, so please adjust this practice to what feels good for you setting the foundation for yourself that feels right in your body. Let's release, reach the arm back up to the sky, back knee off the mat if possible. And then that top arm releasing all the way towards the front of your mat. Just holding here for one breath and then stepping your back foot towards the front of your mat into your forward fold. Inhale, slowly begin to roll yourself up to standing reaching both arms up to the sky. And then as you exhale, bring your hands over towards your heart. Let's go ahead and place both hands on top of your heart, close your eyes, and take a moment right now to come back to our day's intention. Come back to your breath, your present awareness of your body in this moment. Take a moment right now to feel your mat with your feet, the firmness of the ground underneath the mat holding you, supporting you, rooting you to Mother Earth. Feel this energy radiating from the ground upward through your toes, your feet, your legs. Feel the base of your spine vibrating, activating your pranic energy from within. Awaken your first chakra with energy, stability, Allow it to become your support to lean on through the next seven days. Allow it to be your base, your grounding, your foundation. So breathe in deeply and exhale, reminding yourself that you are safe, you are supported, you are loved. Allow yourself to dig a little deeper Feel firmly rooted and balanced on this mat in this very moment of time and space. Feel this energy rooting you, connecting you to your inner self, your inner awareness, to the earth beneath you. Witness as you build your own powerful foundation. A foundation that will hold you through every difficult circumstance or experience that life may bring your way. So inhale deeply. And as you exhale, repeat our daily affirmation softly to yourself once again. I am exactly where I'm supposed to be. Now with your next breath, go ahead and release your hands down by your side, opening yourself up, opening your chest. And then on your next breath, bend your knees and reach them back up to the sky, opening outward again, bending the elbows and diving down towards the earth. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, stepping both feet back into your plank position, knees, chest, chin, or take your Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale upward, facing dog. 
and exhale press firmly into the mat as you release into your downward facing dog taking a moment taking a breath and then reaching your right leg up to the sky bending your right knee and stepping your right foot between your two hands grounding the back heel and then cartwheeling the arms one and then two into your warrior two virvadrasana two drop those shoulders away from the ears sink deep into this asana bring the palms of your hands together as you reach your arms up to the sky exhale strong and powerful warrior two inhale reach up to the sky and open exhale and again palms together reach up exhale warrior two and one more time reach up lengthen up exhale digging deep into this posture coming into your extended side angle by placing your front elbow towards your knee and your back arm reaches up towards the front of your mat so creating this beautiful angle from the tips of your fingers all the way down towards your heel lengthening through the side body and then bring the gaze down and if you wish to go deeper release your fingertips towards the mat or you can keep your foundation at that first level with the elbow on the knee so wherever you are just breathing deeply into the side body bring your gaze down towards the mat and then begin to extend that front knee as you bend the back knee and come into our skandasana now a couple of versions here you can either just stay halfway flex your front foot and stay and breathe or you can begin to bend that knee and go deeper everybody's going to be at a different place here so please find that spot that feels right for you if you can come all the way down then that's great stay there if you want to add some movement keep your hands grounded and just begin to bring your forehead down to the mat and then up towards the sky just like we did in the beginning of our practice really trying to connect the fluidity and movement of your breath inhaling lowering down bowing to the earth exhale opening up lowering down bowing to the earth and exhale lifting up if you'd like to go even deeper you can keep one hand on the mat and reach that same arm that the leg is extended up to the sky so if your right leg is extended the right arm reaches up and again if you're halfway down with your hands on the mat that's perfectly fine as well and then from here transitioning into our wide-legged forward fold by extending the bent knee and slightly pigeon toe your toes towards each other to protect the knees as you release into your wide-legged forward fold keep your hands grounded on the mat or maybe it feels better to grab your ankles wherever you are just really focus on allowing that head to come as close to the earth as possible a gentle inversion here to decompress the spine but also allow you to reconnect with the earth so feel that firmness of the mat with your fingers with the palms of your hands with your feet maybe your forehead maybe not beautiful now once you're ready slowly and gently extend through the elbows lift both arms up to the sky and then pivoting and opening the foot so then you can step towards the front of your mat feet together as you reach both arms up to the sky and exhale bring the hands to the heart inhale reach up back up again exhale dive towards the earth inhale halfway lengthen exhale step back into plank position here you can do a full chaturanga or modification of knees chest chin inhale upward facing dog exhale come back and release into your downward facing dog beautiful just take a breath and let it go feeling yourself connected as you reach your left leg now up to the sky bending your left knee and bring that knee to the chest and then step your foot towards the front of your mat grounding the back right heel as you lift and cartwheel the arms open into your virabhadrasana two warrior two on the left side palms together now as we reach both arms up to the sky exhale arms down warrior two inhale reach up to the sky exhale warrior two two more times finding that strength finding that control balance and peace through this movement reach warrior to really get deep into this posture feeling that power and strength the foundation of your body 
and then taking your extended side angle, left elbow on top of that left knee, reaching your right arm all the way to the front of your mat. And once again, if you'd like to go deeper, you can extend your bottom arm and reach the floor with your fingertips. If not, stay with the elbow on the knee. Listening to your own body here and just connecting to the variation of this asana that feels right for your body. Inhale. And then as you exhale, bring your gaze down, extending the bent knee, flexing the foot, and then walk your hands to the middle of your mat as you bend that back knee. And once again, in your skandhasana, you may want to stop here, or maybe you want to go down even lower. Again, my friends, I just always want to remind you to listen to your body and adjust to what feels right. If you're down low and like to add movement, go ahead and bring your forehead down and up to the fluidity of your breath. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, lower, exhale, up. Hold it here. If you'd like to go deeper, you can extend that left arm up to the sky and hold. However, you can just keep your hands grounded as well. Connect to your body and adjust this asana so that it can provide you the benefits that you need. Deep breath in again. And slowly exhale out as you bring yourself back to center. Hands onto the mat. Lift your hips up. And then from here, coming back into that wide-legged forward fold. But then this time, see if you can go further and bring your hands through your legs. If that's too much, you can grab your ankles and hold it here. Remembering to slightly keep your feet pigeon-toed towards each other, and that's only to protect your knees. And then breathe. Close your eyes, and with each exhalation, allow yourself to relax deeper and deeper into this posture. If you can bring your forehead to the earth, that's great. If that's not possible for you today, that's fine too. Just listen. Adjust. And breathe. And then whenever you're ready, reaching both arms up to the sky, pivoting that foot and stepping towards the front of your mat. Reaching up, inhale. Exhale, dive it down to the earth, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, stepping back into your plank position, taking your chaturanga or knees, chest, chin if you like to modify. Inhale as you release the toes and extend into your upward facing dog. And then exhale, press into the ground and release into your downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, and then walk your feet towards the front of your mat, coming over to a hip width apart position with your feet. Taking your peace fingers and see if you can reach for your big toes and grab those toes. If not, you can take the back of your knees and hold it there with your back straight. Or, the most advanced variation is to take the entire palm of your hand and place it underneath your foot, so just like you're stepping on top of your hands. So pick whatever variation that fits right for you today, and hold. Breathe. Notice the release and tension of the back of your legs. Notice the decompression of your spine, of your neck, allowing the force of gravity to connect you deeper with the element of Earth. Inhale, and exhale, relax into it, and then slowly begin to release by releasing your hands first, hands on the mat, and then heel toe your feet so your toes face outward as you bend your knees and come into our yogic squat, malasana. So you want to make sure that the heels are grounded. And then if it makes sense, bring the palms of your hands together in front of your heart into Anjali Mudra. Using the power and strength of your elbows to push into the knees and to really open up those hips. Feeling the alignment of your spine, starting at the base, moving upward. Feeling yourself grounded, supported, safe, and open. Just close your eyes and connect to the energy within. 
Notice how this asana feels on your body. If you like to challenge it even more, place your hands at your third eye. Inhale. And exhale, release the hands, lift the hips, heel toe your feet, and bring them all the way together. From here, come on up halfway as you extend your arms behind you, and then bring them to the front of your mat. Hands together, come back to the third eye as you ground yourself back into your forward fold, this time hugging the back of your knees with your arms. Closing your eyes and again just going deep into the internal awareness. Deep breath in. Exhale out, go ahead and bend your knees, release the hands. Slowly come up to the fingertips as you lengthen through the spine again and then step back into your plank position. Chaturanga or knees chest chin if you're modifying. Inhaling upward facing dog as you lengthen through the neck. And then as you exhale, press into the hands, push back and release into your downward facing dog. Taking a deep breath in here. And then once you're ready, as you exhale, go ahead and just come over to a seated position on your mat. So bend your knees, landing yourself in a nice seated grounded position bending the left knee into the chest as your right leg extends give it a big hug flex that right foot and then place your left foot to the inside of your right thigh as you reach both arms up to the sky and lengthen and then exhale come forward into your single-legged forward fold feel free to reach for your ankle if that feels good or maybe even behind the knee Wherever you are, remember, is exactly where you're supposed to be right now. So this is a moment for you to just enjoy and release. Close your eyes and with each exhalation, give your body the permission to surrender to this posture. Feeling grounded, supported, and stable. exhale slowly come back up with your body reach up to the sky and then release bringing your knee towards the chest bend the other knee and switch legs so now we hug the right knee in. left leg is extended inhale and as you exhale place your right foot to the inside of your left thigh reaching both arms up to the sky and releasing over into your forward fold on the other leg Coming down to as far as you're comfortable to and just breathing in deeply and letting go. And slowly from here, come back up, release the hands, bring your right knee towards your chest, and extend both legs outward. Pointing the toes, pressing into the palms of your hands as you squeeze the glutes and lift up into your reversed upward plank. Come back down with your hips, flex your feet, inhale, both arms reach up to the sky, 
and then exhale this time coming into our seated head to toe forward fold either reaching for your toes or underneath the knees wherever you feel good or feel free to come all the way down reaching behind your heels and bring your forehead down towards your body a very intimate posture here because it allows us to really connect to our body to the ground underneath us allows us to tune in focus on that internal awareness as we breathe in deeply and exhale letting go gently into the ground focus on your breath focus on the relaxation of the body in this asana let's take one more deep breath in and when you're ready, slowly exhale, lift yourself back up, hands grounded on the mat, bend your knees, ground your feet, and come on up into a high bridge, flexing those glutes, opening that chest, throw the head back, and then drop down to your seated position, landing with the soles of your feet together, knees open in our butterfly pose. Just take a second to really find that center, feeling that energy from the base of the spine all the way up to the sky. Feel that connection, feel that power and that strength. Opening those knees as you inhale again. Exhale, just add a little bit of movement, maybe rock side to side. Notice where any tension is being held in the hips. And then once you're ready, see how far you can release forward towards the mat. Allowing the knees to open, allowing the heart to guide you towards the earth. Maybe the forehead is grounded on the mat, maybe just the elbows wherever you are just relax into it enjoy it surrender to it deep inhale exhale out just come back to that intention come back to the presence to your affirmation to this moment on your mat Come back to the why that brought you here today. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly and gently, bring yourself back up to seated. Bring your knees together. Hug your knees. And then bring your forehead towards the knees as you round out through the upper back. Just a nice little release of the shoulders. And then open up the chest and the arms to the side and repeat that one more time. Except this time, switch the position of your arms. So if your right was on top of the left, this time the left will be on top of the right. Good. Just notice this opening in your shoulder blades. And then come back to center, reach both arms up. And then slowly, with control, lowering your spine all the way down to your mat. Resting your head on the floor then bringing your knees closer towards the body feet grounded tuck that tailbone under as you lift up into your bridge interlacing the fingers underneath you as you extend the elbows try to bring the palms of your hands together and lift and hold feeling that strength of your lower body feeling your shoulders your feet grounded and held by the earth Close your eyes and take another deep breath in. Exhale, release the hands and reach them up above your head. Keep the hips up and then slowly vertebra by vertebra, lower the spine back onto the mat. Once you're grounded, pull those knees into the chest and give yourself a big hug, rocking side to side in this small ball position. And then moving forward into pulling that right knee into the chest, flexing your left foot as you extend your left leg up. And with control, lowering the left leg all the way down onto the mat. First, just take a moment to hold and pull that knee into the chest. Maybe do a little rock of the knee. And then going deeper into the spine by welcoming our spinal twist. So left hand is going to push the right knee across the body. Right arm is going to open outward away from you as you look over towards the right side with your eyes. 
Just breathe and feeling this opening through the spine, through your back. Feel free to close your eyes and again, just keep that internal awareness. Pay attention to how your body responds to this asana. Notice if you're able to let go a little bit deeper. Push just a little bit further without any force, but simply just relaxing into it. Coming back to center. And then from here, pull the right knee, lift your left leg up. This time, place your left ankle top of the right knee. Your hands are grabbing behind your right knee as you pull that knee in towards the body and feeling that deep stretch through your left glute muscle. This is our reclined pigeon pose. A really beautiful way to go deep into the hip and the glute while still keeping it somewhat simple on the upper body. Drop your head down, extend that right leg up. And then from here, pulling that left knee into the chest as your right leg extends and the right foot flexes, lowering the right leg down, holding here for a moment. This time now, feeling the stretch along the other side. Taking a deep breath in. And once you're ready on your exhale, taking your spinal twist. So push that left knee across the body. Left arm opens as you look over your left shoulder. Deep breath in. Exhale out, just feeling that opening in the chest, in your back, even in your glutes. Inhale, exhale, connect and breathe it all out. Allowing yourself to feel every sensation that comes through, every emotion that comes up. Just breathe in. And exhale, let it go. Well done. Now let's slowly come back to center, pulling your left knee in and just lift the heel slightly as you bring your straight leg up to the sky. Right ankle comes on top of your left knee as you reach your arms through and grab the back of your left knee. And at this time, now pull everything into the body, feeling a really nice deep stretch through your right glute muscle. Holding this reversed pigeon pose, allowing yourself to breathe in deeply and exhale any tension, restriction, or stiffness you might feel in your right hip and glute muscle. Stay with your breath, stay connected and grounded to the body. Now when you're ready to release, extend the left leg, drop your head down, release the arms and at this time both legs extend up to the sky, flex your feet and then you're going to open up the legs, bend your knees and grab the outsides of your feet. Happy baby pose. Begin to gently rock side to side. Allowing one knee to come down and then the other, just adding as much mobility and openness into the hips. If movement doesn't feel good for you today, you could just find stillness. Find your breath and allow yourself to connect to the earth, to the ground underneath you. Feeling yourself supported and held as you let go deeper and deeper into this asana.
Slowly at this time, extending your legs. Come back to the position with your legs together. And then give yourself one last final hug, pulling the knees into the body, rounding out your spine into your ball position, maybe adding a little rock side to side to massage that lumbar spine. Taking a deep breath in, extending both legs up, drop your head, flex your feet, and then exhale, finally lowering the legs for four, for three, for two, and last one, I just want you to hold, engage through your core, strong, connected, hold, 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 and drop and relax. Great job. Go ahead and release your body at this time, opening the hands, allowing your arms to stay rested by your side as we dive and release into our final posture, our Shavasana. Just taking this opportunity to completely let go of your body. Relaxing your body, breath by breath. Feeling your body supported, grounded, relaxed safely on your mat. Feel the strength of the earth underneath you, the strong force lovingly holding you, supporting you, rooting you, and connecting you to Mother Earth. Allow yourself to feel heavy, let go, and release. Breath by breath, create space within your heart to let go of fear of the future. Let go of fear of any uncertainties in your life. Let go of any expectations that you may have for this moment. And simply give yourself the opportunity to melt into this divine, peaceful existence that you have created within. This is your foundation to joy, to happiness. It is always here for you here to support you, to protect you, and to remind you that no matter how hectic and chaotic life can become, you hold the power to return to this foundation of peace and tranquility that exists within you, always. So take a deep breath in and feel yourself Releasing one breath at a time. Feeling your heart gently beating your chest. Feeling your breath, your belly rise and fall. And with this awareness, with this connection, remind yourself one more time that you are exactly what you're supposed to be. So breathe in and let go. Now, slowly when you're ready, begin to bring awareness to your fingers and your toes by moving them gently, deepening your breath. And then once you're ready, adding movement to the body by bringing your knees into the chest, taking one arm over your head and rolling over to your side into your fetal position. And then gently coming over to your seated position on your mat. Coming back to the same position that we started our practice with. Opening yourself up. And placing your hands over towards your root chakra. 
right along that base of the spine. Rest in your hands there as you breathe in and exhale out. Bringing your attention to this energy center, to this energetic wheel. Allowing yourself to feel completely still, safe, balanced, and tranquil. Taking this opportunity right now to visualize in your mind the energy of the root chakra, represented by a red lotus flower with four petals. Feel this beautiful flower emulating healing energy within you, healing every aspect of you that is doubtful or fearful of the future, allowing you to feel supported and protected with everything that surrounds you in this moment. Take a deep breath in and allow this conscious breath to connect you deeper with the higher energy, connect you deeper to your essence, to your soul, your own energetic vibration. Allow this connection to set a beautiful foundation for you in which you're able to return to at any moment that you find you need to remind yourself of the peace and safety that exists within your own internal awareness. Remember that this foundation that you are creating is here to support you in every way that you need. And even if the world around you becomes uncertain, difficult, and confusing, this foundation that you have committed to and already started to build upon in this journey will keep you strong even when everything else wants to bring you down. You hold the power. The power to create an unrockable foundation that will allow you to grow and set forth upon a path to thrive in every physical, emotional, and energetic way that you deserve. So take this moment to accept exactly where you are right now. Lovingly, see this as your starting point of building a beautiful path for yourself that will allow you to bloom into becoming the best version of you. Feel yourself grounded and supported by Mother Earth. Feel yourself held with grace and balance of your own body. Remind yourself that you are safe. You are protected. You are loved. So let's take one final deep breath in together. On your inhale, reaching both of your arms all the way up to the sky, lengthening the body, elongating the spine. And then as you exhale, slowly bring your hands down and taking this opportunity to softly repeat our day's affirmation to close off our practice together. I am exactly where I'm supposed to be. From my heart to yours, I thank you for being here with me on the mat today. I send you all my love and all my light. Namaste. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this practice. Now before you go, we would like to tell you about Boho Beautiful Ascension. Now I'm gonna let Mark tell you all about it. So Ascension, to us, is based on one single principle. It's the understanding that each and every one of us, no matter what the circumstance, is capable to rise to our next level. So through this program, we aim to provide you the tools as you step on the mat with us to help you ascend. Boho Beautiful Ascension is not just a yoga program, but it's actually a practical seven day journey based on simple actionable principles that will help you not only balance and align your energetic chakra system, but they will also help you find your way back towards a life full of love, direction, and purpose. This life is and always will be about personal growth and expansion then this is your time to rise above and ascend. It would be a true honor to have you join us for this program. So if you are interested and you want to learn more, go ahead and click this link down here and see if this is something that truly speaks to you.